Hi there and welcome to today's Power BI video. Today we are going to be talking about one of the most encountered bottlenecks when it comes to beginner to intermediate level of Power BI reports, which is the many to many relationships and the issues that that comes up with it. Now, first of all, we start with um, one example where we will see the, the many to many relationship. And then we are going to talk about, as I said, the, the, the issues that it, it brings also some, some solutions. And at the end of the day, I will show you which way is actually the best way when it comes to tackling the many to many relationships. Now, let's start with um, this relationship here on the relationship view. I try to connect two uh, columns, which are the movie titles in, in two of the tables. And then when I try to do that, Power BI tells me that this is actually a many to many cardinality. And then it gives me this warning where it says that uh, you need to be aware of the many to many relationship behaviors in this case. Now let me save this first and then I will see that both of the sides are many and then the, the data flow will actually be on the on the both ways. Then let's have a look at the, the data set itself and we understand the use case for this one. So I try to bring two tables here, which are not the, the which are not some big tables, but it's actually enough for us to illustrate the many to many relationship. So we have two tables, which are the movie awards and movie revenues. So for movie revenues, we have some movie titles here. And then for each and every movie, we have two regions here, North America and International. And then we showcase the revenues based on the US dollars for, for these movies. Then when we take a look at the movie awards, we see uh, these movies here again. They are not the same movies, which is also another thing to discuss. And then for these movies, we see on which festival, which award that these movies have got. And we also have this award, uh, award count, which is nothing but once to also count how many awards these movies have, have gotten. But also to mention that it, these are not the only awards that these movies have got. Otherwise, the, the table would be much bigger than this one. Now here we notice that as we saw, we have the many sides on this one. So let's say the Titanic or the Avatar is duplicating in this case. But also some of the movies that exist in one table does not exist on the other one. For instance, for the, par the Parasite or the, the Godfather, does not exist on the revenues table as we see here but for instance the dark knight or the frozen also do not exist on the awards table in this case as well now the first problem that comes with the many to many relationship is indeed the ambiguity ambiguity is is something that when you create a, a new visual via a table or something else the 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 total sum do not add up to the total that you see on the bottom of the the visual itself so let's have a look at one table here so here what i'm going to do is i will um, select let's say the movie title from the awards table and then i will bring let's say um, the revenue from the other table now the first issue that we saw was that um, we had only three movies available also both of the both of the tables and we see the revenues for all these uh, movies but the first problem we see is that the total is 8.1 billion but then when you add up all these numbers it does not add up to 8.1 million because simply the the ambiguity is the problem that we have more data inside but actually because of the many to many relationship it cannot be visualized here so the total uh, is showing up incorrectly another thing to, to mention that uh, is that we have the movie title from the the movie award so let's say that we do not bring it from there but we bring from the revenues again we what we see is that we have three entries for these for these movies let me do it this way but we see that the total is actually eight but the total that we see on the visual is indeed 12. so this is another problem that comes up with the ambiguity and this is also something that needs to be fixed if you were to bring the movie ta movie title and the revenue from the from one table and let me get rid of the award count then obviously you wouldn't have this problem and the total would also show up correctly here 
but not only that because of the many-to-many -many relationships it also brings a lot of the performance issues as well because many-to-many -many relationships are indeed quite expensive operations when it comes to running on the engine on Power BI and because of that all the update time of the visuals or the refresh time of your report will actually be delayed because of the many-to-many -many relationship so this is also another another reason why you should actually steer away from using many-to-many -many relationships and let me also show you one example here we have actually obtained a data flow on power bi service and we saw that the relationship that was used there was was indeed many to many and then once we switch these many to many relationships into one to many relationships as it should be we saw a huge decrease of the update time and you see the numbers there as well from 7.5 minutes to 2.5 minutes here so these are the issues that comes with many-to-many -many relationship and let's have a look at how we can actually um, get rid of this many-to-many -many relationship and actually create much more optimized much more performant report the first uh, the first pair of solutions that let's say that you can also find online or, or, or people suggesting are to be done on the power query side so let's have a look at the power query itself so here is the power query and here we see our two tables now the first um, approach that we can have is is creating one table out of those two and actually appending those two table and create one big table how you can do that is you, you can be on one of those fact tables and then you can go to append queries and then if you were to select append queries and select the other table let's do it here then it will create this one big table where we have quite a few null columns because of um, you know one uh, movie does not exist on the other one but then you can actually use this movie title that you will obtain from this appended table but if you imagine that you have millions of rows in in either one of these tables then this uh, operation itself will actually cost you a lot of performance issues as well the other thing that you can use is the bridge tables now i will also show you uh, the, the the last last solution based on the bridge table as well but let's have a look at how you can create this bridge table on the power power query side as well now what you can do is that um, let me delete this appended query step what i can do is i can say append queries as new and then i will select the other table once again and I created another uh, table here because I will use it as a bridge table. Now, first thing what I can do is I see that the movie titles are bringing correctly. This is another thing to keep in mind that you need to have the same column names in order to, to append the queries correctly. Now, what I will do is I will right click here and I will say remove other columns. So I will only keep the movie title here. And then I will basically do remove duplicates here by right clicking. And with that, I will actually have this um, seven entries out of these two different fact tables. And here I can actually rename it as you can use BT as bridge table or you can use DT as dimension table. And you can say movie title and then you can just close and apply to load this data here as well. Now, the thing is that you can use this in such examples where you don't have a big data. But as I said, in real life, what we see is, you know, we have millions of rows in, in, in these fact tables. And because of that, this is, again, not the, the best solution that I would actually recommend because the Power Query engine is not as powerful as the Power BI engine, Vertipack engine, as it's also called. So because of that, I would actually suggest you um using let me let me just cancel these steps and i will actually suggest you using dax function to to create this bridge table as we try to do it in the in the second example in power query first of all i will discard these changes and let me go to the table view now what i will do is i will create a new table because that's what i i want to do and here i will call this again dt movie title now here what we want to do is we want to summarize the columns that already exist as movie title in each and every fact table that we have and then we want to just bring them as one column so let's actually make use of the summarize columns because the summarize columns is let me maybe make it a bit smaller 
The summarize columns is where it creates a summary table um, of of the selected columns as as how much how many as you want to select. So here, let's say um, it's called the movie, and from the movie awards, I bring the movie table, movie title. Sorry. When I hit enter, I will see that I have one table which is summarized, which is coming as a distinct. Uh, unique values and here we I have five movies that also exist on the awards table but the problem is maybe if I also change this to quickly to revenues we can also see the five uh, movies as well but the five movies that exist on the, the revenues table but the problem is that I also want to bring the other um, the other tables movie titles as well because it, they don't have the same movie titles now for that what I need to do is I, I need to union my uh, two, two columns that I bring from two tables so what I can use is I can use the union and union is nothing but um, but a function where you can just you know basically union two columns but those two columns need to have the same column name or let's say the same content in this case now what we can do is we said let's union and then I will just simply copy and paste this column where I will change the the name so let's hit um, one comma here so what I will do is I will simply write here the awards and then if I now close the parentheses so as you can see we have unioned our two columns from the revenues and awards table for movie titles and we ended up with 10 rows here because let's say the avatar actually exists on the movie awards as well as the the revenue so it actually shows up twice so this is also something that we wouldn't like to have so what what we need to do is we need to create the view on a distinct view so that the avatar does not exist more than once so how we can do that is let me go in a better look this way so what we need to do is we need to use the distinct column uh, the distinct function so this is also the function where you provide the table inside and then it just creates the distinct um, distinct view out of this table and just with that we actually ended up with only seven rows here as we also saw on the power query side now when we have um, some when we have some small number of data um, either way could work maybe power query is, is also something that some people would prefer to use it but as i said imagine having you know millions of rows or let's say hundreds of thousands of of one of the distinct columns that you want to create for and in that case actually using the dex function will make much more sense and i will also add this um add this code into the uh into below and what we can do afterwards is first of all let's bring this table here and let's remove this relationship because we don't need that anymore and what we will simply need to do is we will just create the relationship between the dimension table and two fact tables and again as you can see now this is actually many to one let me do the same for this one and then when I go back here and uh, let's bring out the award count which was also showing up incorrectly now if I remove this movie title here but I add it from the dimension table now here I will correctly see uh, for which movie what was the revenue if it exists if it doesn't exist it will show up as blank here so that the sum will also show up correctly the same goes for the award count which you can see for some of them one of one of the revenue or the award count does not exist so this is the the best way to actually go with it with um, the the dex function to create the the dimension table itself but obviously if you could have those dimension tables coming in from your sql server or from your excel file then that would be the most ideal way but if you don't have the, that option this is actually next close to to having the, the most ideal way with the the breach tables or the dimension tables as it called and um i would say this is all um for the the, the many to many side if you have any questions or or some comments please comment down below and then we can have um we can have some discussions thank you for watching and see you soon